Hello folks and welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in to EPV Media YouTube channel's Secrets of Business Success SBS series. Last week, I was talking about green energy, the various jobs that are available in the green energy sector and particularly focused on solar energy. I promise that my next video, which is this video, will focus on another of the green energy sectors that is available in Africa and Ghana but for which little is known about. There are a lot of opportunities in this sector and like it or not, very soon it will be the thing of the day. And for those of us, as we usually do on this um, platform by promoting TVET related jobs and um, education and skill, you cannot afford but to take serious and prepare yourself to take advantage of this big opportunity that is coming. What am I talking about? I'll tell you in a moment, but as usual, I just want to remind you, subscribe to this channel if you already haven't done so. Click on the red subscription button below at the corner there, and then click on the notification bell, and whenever we upload any new video, you will immediately be notified so that you won't lose out on anything. So let me go for a short break, and I'll be back, and we will delve straight into business. Okay, so last week we talked about green energy and the fact that there are four main broad areas of green energy. First, we did mention that green energy is just any energy that is sustainable, that does not pollute the world and which is renewable. So the four main areas of green energy are solar, wind, water and geothermal. We were discussing solar energy and we touched on some of the many jobs that are available for any technically oriented person to start a job or develop a skill and be really employable. Today, I am shifting focus slightly and I'm talking about EV cars. EV simply means electric vehicle. So today I'm going to be talking about electric vehicles and the many opportunities that exist for people, particularly young graduates from the universities and other technical schools to get themselves trained and prepared to take advantage of this huge opportunity that is coming. There are already a number of EV vehicles in the system, but they are far from being what it could be. But very soon, almost every street corner will be filled with EV vehicles and there comes the opportunity for us to create jobs or for employment. So what are EVs or electronic vehicles? Now let's start from what EVs are not. Now the normal cars that we have, uh, those that uh, use petrol, diesel uh, and sometimes gas are known as internal combustion engines, that's I's for short. The I for internal, C for combustion and then E for engines. So whenever I say ICE vehicles, I mean the normal vehicles that we use around those that use petrol diesel or gas now electronic vehicles they are powered by batteries what happens is there's only a motor and that motor is powered by the power from the battery and moves so ev vehicles are generally very silent because there's no engine where things are moving around and moving one part is moving another another part is moving the next and all those things so they're it's not like that with ev vehicles that's electronic vehicles. So electronic vehicles are very, very, very silent. Not entirely silent, but much more quieter and silent than the normal ICE vehicle. The ICE vehicles, as I've already said, are the internal combustion engines. And because they do not need this fossil fuel, that's oil, petrol, gas, etc., to run, they are much more environmentally friendly. Most vehicle manufacturers and in fact environmentalists are clamoring and succeeding in shifting the focus to the production of EV vehicles. And because EV vehicles depend on battery power, they can even be powered by solar. So there are EV vehicles with solar panels built at the top or any other part of the car which powers the car. The cost for maintaining an EV car is also much, much, much lower, about one third of maintaining an ICE or internal combustion uh, engine car. This is because there are less moving parts. You know, you don't need to use all the normal things you need in servicing the, the normal cars, you know. 
with EV cars, they are approximately the experts tell us that they are just approximately about 20 moving parts the whole car with the normal ice or internal combustion engines that we have there are about 2,000 moving parts that is why we have to constantly maintain our normal internal combustion engine cars because there are so many moving parts creating friction there has to be constant oiling and uh, servicing of those parts that's why the maintenance cost is quite high with an EV car all these things will be cut out yes there will be some maintenance but it will be very 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 minimal all you need to do is to charge them you plug it into, into a special charging point or even into our normal electrical socket you come and pack it plug it in and by the, the, the next morning it is fully charged and you can drive around for miles there are also what we call the hybrids these are vehicles that operate both as an ev car and as an internal combustible engine car so ev cars have a lot of advantage over ice or internal combustion engine cars ev vehicles are not very much available now but they will soon be and there lies the opportunity in fact they predict that by the year 2050 almost every country will have about a quarter to half of all cars on the road being ev cars and this will increase incrementally over the years so there's a huge opportunity coming and those who get themselves prepared are the ones who are going to take advantage of it and the people who are best placed to take advantage of this um, opportunity are people who are prepared themselves who have technical knowledge in how ev cars operate so there are about four broad main areas where people can you know choose to have their knowledge or their skill in readiness for this opportunity that ev cars will soon be presenting to us but usually people with technical knowledge in electronic engineering and computer programming and stuff like that they are the ones who are uh, likely to get an easy access to the ev industry now because particularly those doing auto engineering or auto electricians because the ev car is built around electricals and moving of motors and auto electricians are already knowledgeable in those parts so you just need to improve with a certain level of auto certification and then you are prepared to handle um, uh, ev cars so if you are an auto mechanic it will be very smart for you to start preparing yourself by learning the skills and uh, technical things you need to know about ev cars in ghana now i'm not aware of any technician that uh, handles ev cars there may be some but i'm not aware of any all the technicians i know are the normal technicians uh, who have knowledge in uh, maintaining or repairing uh, internal combustion engine cars but very soon it will change the trend that has already started and very soon it will change and there's a whole lot of opportunity that is presented in that field now i'm going to mention the broad main areas for which you can prepare yourself to take advantage of the electronic vehicle opportunity that is coming and the most obvious is dealership in evs so either you deal in the ev car itself or the uh, accessories though they are not too many parts but they are parts that you need to um, you can you can deal in for instance the batteries and those uh, ev cars that use solar panels to uh, recharge the batteries that's another you can deal in those panels and in all this there are other small small parts there are computerized um, components that go with every ev car you can deal in those parts so there are little little parts and even the normal the normal thing about other cars the tires etc so you learn about ev cars and the parts that you can deal in and prepare yourself very soon you'll be in business there's also the opportunity to create a kind of hire service where you have ev cars that you can hire out for people to drive there's already a service like that in ghana that i know of they are even providing taxi and um, uh, normal hire car hire services of ev cars exclusively ev cars and the hiring rate is much cheaper than of ice cars because of course uh, the maintenance costs and all those are taken away so the cost is um, lower so there's already a business like that but there's an opportunity for more so you can also prepare to go into the hiring of ev cars another obvious opportunity that ev cars will present is the repair and maintenance of course as i've earlier said ev cars will need practically little or no maintenance how about they will still need some maintenance once it's a machine you know something will definitely go wrong 
one way or the other. It might not be as much as it is with uh, ice cars, but there will still be some need for maintenance, particularly of the batteries. So if you have some knowledge about the batteries, just as I said about the solar energy batteries, how to maintain them, how to improve them, you know, you will also be in business. And then there's also the opportunity to provide EV consultancy services. Now it is projected that by the year 2040 to 2050, most cities in the world will have about 50% of their cars being EV cars. Now what that means is that a lot of people will also require information about EV cars. What kind of EV cars should we have? What kind of, um, what should I do with my EV cars? Um, what are the most appropriate things to do uh, with an EV car? All those plenty information and if you start schooling yourself and training yourself in analyzing data about EV cars, what you are doing is you are preparing yourself as a consultant on EV cars. You are becoming a master of the, of the technology. Right now it is about more or less in its introductory stage, at least in some countries like in Africa. And that's the opportunity for you to start learning from countries in the developed countries where EV cars are much more common. So what are the problems? What are the new uh, technologies that are coming up with EV car? And you, a whole lot of data that if you learn to analyze and make it appropriate for the African condition, you are preparing yourself to be a consultant. Very soon, a lot of people will need a lot of information. And because you already have the data, you've analyzed them, you have the right information to provide people. So providing consultancy services on EV vehicles it's another attractive opportunity that you can duly prepare yourself for. So, a lot of opportunities are available if you have the necessary skill and knowledge in, in education in EV, what EV cars are about. I will employ my young and very enterprising university graduates out there and other graduates from other technical institutions to be looking at some of these opportunities particularly in the solar energy and then the electronic vehicle industries a whole lot of opportunities are available choose a niche you know get as much skill and education and knowledge as you can in that niche and then prepare yourself to take advantage of the huge opportunity that is coming in my next video i'm going to touch on another huge opportunity that exists for those with tibet education and skill you know to exploit you know as we keep on saying the future is for those with tibet education or skill so prepare yourself now acquire one tibet skill or education now and the future is bad and if you are focusing on the solar energy or electronic vehicle industry boy the opportunities are going to be huge in the meantime if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so now kindly click on the red subscription button below click on the notification bell and you are ready to go you will get instant notification anytime we upload any new video thank you so much for your time and for watching this video and please comment like and share this video as much as you can thank you i'll see you again next week when we touch on another interesting opportunity out there for tvet oriented or skilled people thank you i'll see you next week Goodbye.